uh, members of the minority. Oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, we join the minority in their motion to terminate the period of the minor uh, Mr. Speaker, having no more uh, members of the minority. Oh. Uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, we join the minority in their motion to terminate the period of the Department of Labor. So move, Mr. Speaker. There is a joint motion to terminate the interpolation of the proposed budget of the Department of Health. Is there any objection? The chair here. Mr. Speaker, I have a motion ruling, please. Let me question the Interpolations of the proposed budget of the Department of Health is hereby terminated. Let me question the forum, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Motion suspended. Mr. Speaker. Session is resumed. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I now move that we recognize the Honorable Minority Leader, the Honorable Nonoy Libanan, for his turno in contra. The Honorable Minority Leader is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I move for a few minutes suspension. Session is suspended. Daza, you have the floor, sir. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good evening to my colleagues and uh, thank you to the uh, officials of the DOH for their presence. Uh, first of all, uh, please allow me to thank the Secretary and the officials of DOH that despite the many complicated issues and uh, criticisms of many members of the House, uh, they still cooperate with us and and in fact have complied with many uh, of the requests of, of the members, both in the minority and majority. And I have a favorite saying, Mr. Speaker, give credit where credit is due. And I, I congratulate uh, DOH, Secretary Bosa, and the officials for issuing the No Balance Billing Department Memorandum, clarifying no copay, no balance billing, under the Universal Healthcare Act and other relevant laws. So I thank the sponsor, that these sponsors, Congresswoman Ko, Congresswoman Kimbo, Congresswoman Garin, for following up on this very important universal healthcare policy. So thank you so much. And just short question, in line with that, because the DOH has already essentially clarified that poor patients in charity beds or ward beds in government hospitals should have no copay and they should not have out of pocket. May I ask the sponsor, DOH and Philip, because it's now policy and because DILG has a seal of good local governance, one of their matrix is health. May I re request or get a comment from Phil out in DOH that maybe our advocacy of helping poor patients, no copay, no out of pocket, which was clarified by this memorandum, shouldn't this be now at least discussed with DILG, with Phil out and DOH, to be considered in that seal of good local <coughs> governance as yep. part of the health matrix for our LGUs? Yes, uh, that's an excellent idea, Mr. Speaker, uh, our dear colleague. The, the, the PhilHealth and the DOH agrees. Okay, thank you. I, I'm satisfied. Just as long as the sponsor follows up with Phil at DOH, I think there will be substantial improvement uh, in terms of helping our poor patients. Uh, second, in the budget hearing, um, there were many doctors complaining about when the doctors get accredited by PhilHealth, they were before required to pay three years advanced membership fee, sometimes one year membership fee advanced, they clarified to me that there's now a circular saying that when doctors get accredited, they can now just pay one month membership fee, just like all other fill-out members. Is that correct, uh, Mr. Speaker? That's correct, Mr. Speaker. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you for that. 
And I thank PhilHealth for helping our doctors on this particular issue because there were many doctors who were complaining. The other one is, in the accreditation process, doctors are accredited by PhilHealth, but actually these doctors are also accredited by the hospital. So well, there's a potential streamlining to make it, we have an ARTA law, we're supposed to be implementing um, streamlining processes, ease of doing business. So my uh, okay, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, may I may I move to spend just a few minutes? Uh, Mr. Speaker, with the oh. due indulgence of our distinguished senior deputy minority leader, I, I believe we're running out of time, and um, may we request him to proceed with his interpolation? Deputy majority, minority leader. Few minutes suspension, Mr. Speaker. Session suspended. Yes. Session resume. Majority Leader. Hello. Mr. Speaker, I now move that we again recognize the Honorable Paul Daza. Congressman Daza, please proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Good evening again. Uh, as I was saying, uh, doctors are complaining about the red tape in terms of field health accreditation. Uh, I thank again the sponsors uh, for encouraging dialogue with field health, and we did that. Uh, no less than the Secretary of DOH uh, supports streamlining. He's also an anti-red tape uh, person. So I wanted to ask the sponsor because doctors are already PRC licensed. They have certification from, special, from their specialties. They get accredited by the hospitals. So may I request from the sponsor a response or a commitment on how PhilHealth can streamline the accreditation process for doctors? Mr. Speaker, uh, the accreditation process for uh, professionals uh, is already on the way or into streamlining. So, uh, there will all... Okay. So, yes, it's in the process of streamlining already. Thank you so much to my esteemed colleague, the Honorable Co, for that assurance. I think men, all our doctors in this country will be very happy uh, with that development. And... On the issue on utilization of field health funds, there was some discussion about increasing case rates of instead 30% but 50% to increase utilization for the poor patients in the wards. What we call, as clarified in the memorandum issued by Secretary Arbosa, why why not increase case rates for poor patients 
So there will be now more funds for all hospitals for medicines, x-ray and other ancillary services. Because there were, I was told there were already discussions before at the fill-out level to do that. May we get a response from the sponsor on the possibility of increasing case rates to increase utilization, specifically for the poor patients who are eligible under the universal health care law on no copay, no balance billing, no out of pocket. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the increase in the uh, case rates uh, will include the level one infirmaries. So, which also includes the, benef the, the benefits of uh, PhilHealth, more or less po across the board. Okay. Uh, baby steps, that would be an improvement already. But if the PhilHealth will consider that, that previous proposal about maybe prioritize the increase of case rates for the NBB patients, for the poor patients in the ward beds, because there were already discussions in the past regarding that, and I was wondering if that's still on the table and if that's yes. something PhilHealth can include in their agenda. Yes. But thank you for the response earlier. Uh, I think that's already a big improvement. But this is specifically, uh, specifically for the uh, poor patients, um, uh, as I mentioned earlier. Yes, uh, Mr. Speaker. But yes, uh, the answer to that, to your query is uh, included. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Again, I I'd like to commend the uh, sponsors for your patience. I know sometimes the debates, the exchanges get heated, and uh, you know we appreciate your understanding and patience with the members of the minority, because I know sometimes we all get emotional. And I appreciate uh, what the vice chair and the chairman have done to make sure our concerns and issues are addressed. Thank you so much uh, to our vice chairs and to the other sponsors. Mr. Speaker. Again, uh, I'd like to thank the Department of Health officials who spent essentially two days with us. Uh, thank you so much for addressing many, if ah, okay. not most, of our concerns. Ah, okay. And uh, Mr. Speaker, having no more uh, members of the minority... Oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Speaker, we join the minority in their motion to terminate the period of debate. So move, Mr. Speaker. There's a joint motion to terminate the interpretation of the proposed budget of the Department oh. of Health. Is there any Madam objection? The chair here. The interpolations of the proposed budget of the Department of Health is hereby Let terminated. Let me question the forum, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Motion suspended. Mr. Speaker. Session is resumed. Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I now move that we recognize the Honorable Minority Leader, the Honorable Nona Libanan, for his turno in contra. The Honorable Minority Leader is recognized.